In this video, I will show you guys the best deck for Arena 9 Jungle Arena in Clash Royale. So, in this arena, you unlock a lot of swarm ish cards like the Goblin Gang, Goblin Hut, and Dark Goblin. And you can obviously make a deck around the swarm ish card. And this is a deck right here. So, with this deck, you have a lot of swarm ish cards like the Wall Breakers, Dark Goblin, and Goblin Barrel. So, if your opponent has a zap, they can only zap one of them. For example, if your opponent zap the wall breakers, your dark goblin, goblin barrel, and skeleton army will be unstoppable since they have no more zap to counter it. And also, there are four cards that you can bait zap with. So, if they use one of them, the other will be dominating them. So, you also have the Valkyrie to defend every single thing like a Mega Knight or Mini P.E.K.K.A or whatever, even a Goblin Barrel. And you obviously have the Infernal Tower to destroy P.E.K.K.A's, Mega Knights, and also Goblin Giant, Giant Hawk Rider, and more. And this is the best deck for Arena 9 Jungle Arena in Clash Royale. So, let's jump straight into some games right here and destroy people with the best Arena 9 deck. So now guys, we're on the 9, okay, we're on the 5 wins on this classic challenge. So, this means our opponent should be kinda difficult to against. Now, we can just do all backers right here, guys. Let's shoot for something. Now let's go Dark Goblin right here, and we can snowball all of this, boom, so our Dark Goblin can do work on defense. So no guys, our Skeleton Army may not perfectly counter the Ram Rider, but it actually does some good damage. By the way guys, since this person have used his small spell, my Dark Goblin ending up connect to the tower and do some good damage. Now, Valkyrie will totally wreck that Golden Knight, now let's go Wall Breaker right here guys on the bridge. Because he just wasted his stuff. Boom. Now, guys, since he uses his snowball, now, guys, we can go Goblin Battle right here. Because now, he will not have snowball for my Goblin Battle. See, guys, because he uses his freaking snowball, he won't have my. He won't have snowball for my Goblin Battle. And because of that, my Goblin Battle ended up dealing uh, more damage to his tower. Now. That Goblin forced a wall breakers. That okay. That Goblin forced a minion. That's really good, guys. So now he will probably go ram right there, right here. By the way, guys, Infernal Tower counter every single win condition and tank. That includes balloon, ram rider, hawk rider, everything. The Infernal Tower is busted on defense. It can shred absolutely anything and everything. Now I can go Infernal Tower right here, guys. That absolutely wrecked the Inferno. Now, Scout and the Army will also do some good job for that. Now I can go Gobi better right here, guys. That should stop all of that. Now I can do Snowball right here for the Inferno Dragon. And my freaking Goblin Battle and the Valkyrie ending up taking the tower. Because of the Snowball Slow, it actually slowed down the Inferno Dragon and also knocked back it. And because of that knockback and slow, ending up my freaking wall break. Okay. Because of the slow, my freaking thing, the Goblin Barrel and the Valkyrie getting good damage. Now we can go in front of tower right here, guys. Boom. So that Mega Knight will absolutely got tossed by the Inferno because the Inferno use so much DPS. So as long as you protect the Inferno Tower, we can stop all of this push. Trust me. Now Inferno like the freaking thing first. There we can do this. The Inferno shred the freaking Golden Knight. Now we can go to second Inferno Tower right here. Since this deck is so cheap, you can get to back to to Inferno Tower really easily. Now we can go Valkyrie right here. The Valkyrie and Dark Goblin combo also wreck the Mega Knight. See guys, look at this combo. Valkyrie and Dark Goblin. That absolutely shreds the Mega Knight. Now, let's just draw a little bit like here since we already won because why not, right? By the way guys, hit the subscribe button because we almost reached 1000 sub subscribers and if we can get by the end of the year, that will be really amazing. So now, let's go to our second match right here, guys. Six wins and zero losses with this bait, lock bait deck. Now, guys, um, let's think right here. So, just like any other match, let's, we want to force out my opponent to put something, a small spell. So, let's just snowball right here. So, from the Zappies, he will probably have some sort of, like, Farbo bait deck with the Flying Machine, Royal Hawks. Now let's just do better right here and let's just car me on the on this thing because it will actually stop the freaking Zappies both lanes. If you put a car me on the middle, that will stop anything on both lanes. Quick tip guys, quick tip. 
if we don't know now let's just do that go be right here on the back to quickly shred the royal recruits there we can go valkyrie right here the valkyrie on the middle will actually pull all of the recruits to stop it now i can follow the flying machine that will also stop it plus the fireball also kill the recruits and that is a win right there now we can go this right here with this that should get some good damage okay guys so he so he arrows that means he won't have arrows from my goblin battle and that ending up dealing good damage that is a trick right here guys if it was the wall breakers and goblin battle combo they can only arrow one of them not two that's why one of them will do damage and you always find damage with this deck it's basically unstoppable on damage now you can also do that goblin on the bridge to get some good damage because the dark goblin is so fast your opponent only have a little time to react to it and usually they don't put it on time because the dark goblin lock on so fast not even a second your opponent will have little time to react that's why you take so good you will always find ways to get damage now let's do scarby right here guys boom then oh you will do the royal recruit thing okay okay now guys we can probably go an inferno tower right here boom so that we can wreck the freaking royal recruits and then we can go battle right here then let's think right here guys we first need to kill that freaking flying machine or else it will do like insane work now i can do scale out an army right here snowball the royal hawks boom that should stop all of the damage with the skarmy and the valkyrie anything won't break through now we can just rush right here this and this that should stop all of that he will arrow the thing okay you will do that now i can follow the freaking zappies boom guys insane value now we can go dark goblin right here then scar me to protect it because the dark goblin is valuable if you protect your dark goblin it is basically insane because he can get massive value really fast now we can go inferno right here that should shut the flying machine there we can go valkyrie right here guys boom to kill that and then we can go goblin better right here to quickly get some good damage guys then boom that's not bad force on the air that should be good now i can go that goblin right here by the way guys the arrow is really good to counter at this deck but since we have multiple things they cannot counter it now we can go inferno tower right here boom and then valkyrie right here to kill all of that junk then i can do skarmy right here for the goblin brawler boom guys and i can do dark goblin right here okay i mean the freaking goblin barrel now far about the royal hawks so no damage boom guys perfect absolute perfect defense now let's go dark goblin on the base again to get some good damage boom so let's just quickly snowball this so that my dark goblin can get more shots and get even more value now let's do inferno right here valkyrie right here boom i know you wanna go flying machine guys that's why i'm doing the valkyrie right there now i can do goblin barrel right here to trick him because i'm a pro see guys he got trick okay never mind he's he not got trick okay guys he got trick anyways now that goblin should, should, should get some good job now we can do this we can go inferno right here follow the royal hawks boom then they should stop all of it i can snowball this if i need it which i will do then guys i can do goblin better right here again to get some good damage boom you go electro spirit that should not stop it boom now we can go that goblin right here guys with this now i can do inferno right here boom so i can do fireball the flying machine then i can do a uh, valkyrie right here guys then another goblin barrel then i can do even more dark goblin guys look at the dark goblin guys defend everything the dark goblin is such a good card man now let's do this right here then i can do war breaker shadow to protect the my dark goblin then i can do valkyrie then i can do this boom as long as you protect the dark goblin you will be winning like insane now i can stop about that the real hawk shall not get a hit boom guys we win even though we face against a people with electro spirit and arrows we can still win because as long as you can protect the dark goblin he will do insane work on defense like insane work your opponent cannot break through ever absolutely ever so now guys let's proceed to our next match right here freaking seven wins and zero losses with this amazing deck wow this deck is basically insane now let's just immediately rush guys with the wall breakers right here by the way if you wanna do wall breakers you can split them because oh he will have mother witch so guys mother witch is a really hard card to defend because 
if, if you put swarms, she will turn all of the swarms into peaks, and that sucks because look at our Skarmy. There is 14 of them, and you know what happens when the Madwis controls Skarmy? That he, she will make 14 peaks. You heard it right, 14 peaks. But don't worry, it calls with the fireball, guys. The fireball one shot the Madwis, and that's why this is viable because. Even though they have Mother Witch, don't worry, you have Fireball. Now, Wall Breakers, both of them though, guys, freaking connecting, dealing so much damage. Now I can snowball that, boom, and I predict he will go ability. Yeah, I know it. So, he wanna go the Golden Ability. The Golden Ability actually make him dash 10 times. That will absolutely wreck my Dark Goblin. But luckily, I know that he wanna do that. I have put my Skarmy, so my Skarmy can tank for a Dark Goblin. And because of that, that result in him using Ram Rider for unnecessary things. Now, Wallbreaker should get a hit. Yeah, let's go! Freaking Wallbreaker OP, man! Now, guys, we can go for the clear right here. See, guys, he's agreeing. Our deck is too annoying because as long as he protects the Dark Goblin, this deck is busted. Absolutely busted. Now, far about that, boom. Madruich shall not get any value as you as long as you fireball any Madruich in this deck you're basically solid so now I know for a fact that we're down elixir by a lot but don't worry guys because the Skarmy in front of tower that Goblin can defend everything and anything now he will go P.E.K.K.A guys that sucks now let's just do Skarmy right here boom that should completely stop the freaking golden knight now we can do a goblin battle right here maybe tiny dark goblin boom so i know for a fact that this person wanna make a giant push and eventually overwhelm me but don't worry guys i have a secret tactic for defend him now first thing first i need to shred the freaking pekka then after that i have my secret tactic now first snowball that boom okay and then my freaking dark goblin need to shred the golden knight okay guys shoot i messed up now first valkyrie need to shred the madwitch okay let's go now guys i'm messing right here so i can do goblin battle right here because this placement i can actually juke him see guys that placement right there make the barbarian battle not stop all of them that is the juke placement if you see your opponent's barbarian battle to counter your thing you can do right there that should not let the barbarian battle get all of them now let's do infra tower right here guys and then i can do this with this protect the infra tower is basically key with this deck because as long as you protect it any pekka's dark goblin will not break through now i just once again juke him guys with the freaking goblin battle placement so if you see you cannot break through with the freaking goblin battle you need to do the juke placement that should make your goblin better connecting and do so much damage now far about the mud witch i don't want any picks to ruin my day guys then i can do this in front of tower on the bridge to quickly kill the ram rider then goblin better right here that should get some good damage boom since he's on elixir guys he cannot do the barbarian battle in time and as a result my freaking gobi battle get a few more damage now that gobi will totally shut his thing i can do this with this boom let's just stop all of it let's go yo guys what golden knight absolutely got shredded now i can do this with this that should get some good damage i can follow the mud which of course boom let's go yo that's our victory right there guys even though facing against Madrid and Barbarian Bear and Dark Prince will still absolutely wreck that person like a pro, 100%. So, guys, let's see can we get a 9 wins right here. The finally match of the video. Boom. Okay, 8 wins and 0 losses. This deck is insane. 100% win rate. Now, guys. This is a bad starting hand because I don't have wall breakers or dark goblin on my cycle, so I cannot go aggressive now. Let's probably just do a tiny snowball. Boom. So guys, from the lumberjack, I know for a fact. Okay, there's a balloon. I know for a fact that, that this person will have a balloon. So guys, oh, so he will have freeze. That suck, guys, because freeze counter the balloon so well okay no the freeze counter the infernal tower so well and that make me get a hit that sucks man i hate the balloon and freeze combo that is so toxic now let's probably just do a wall breaker right here 
Oh, you have a bandit, but guys, I have skeleton army that will absolutely wreck the bandit. Now, skeleton army right here, do a Valkyrie for the real ghost, absolutely perfect defense. I know, boom. Now, I want to do Goblin Battle so bad, but he has an archer kit on the map, so you know what that means. I need to defend that first, boom. So, our Queen actually get some good damage, that sucks. Now, Wall Breakers will tank the Lumberjack and get zero damage, boom. So, if you're in a clutch position where you don't have anything for the Lumberjack or generally anything, like a mini P.E.K.K.A. coming to your tower, you can just the Wall Breakers on defense. It actually will do some good job. You punch on the middle, one of them will tank, and one of them will actually connect to your, to your opponent tower, and leading to a counter push for two elixir, stopping the lumberjack and connect the tower. There's a quick tip that you need to know. Now, let's do this, then this. First thing first, I need to kill the bandit and the real ghost. Second thing second, the freaking things won't connect. The freaking, what it called, balloon. Now, Let's just do that. Go in the bridge right here. That should get some good damage. Okay, never mind. He he do the lumberjack on time. Now I can do this with this. Boom. So let's see what he would do. Wall breakers though will connect. Ah, let's go electro spirit. Now I can just do a goblin battle right here. I get some good damage. Then I can probably do a valkyrie right here. Collect both the archer quit and the freaking bandit. Now I can do a dark goblin right here guys, maybe do an inferno tower as well, then I can snowball everything, boom, snowball, snowball are insane, I know scale an army right here, that should stop everything, okay shoot, I don't expect the bandit to be connecting, okay guys, that sucks, now we still have a chance though, don't worry guys, now I can do dark goblin right here with valkyrie, that should stop everything, then he will go balloon, I know, then I can go an inferno on displacement, to pull the balloon back okay clutch inferno inferno tower is so clutch now snowball this maybe oh barely stop that guys so i cannot let any balloon connect to, the, to my tower anymore or else i will be lose this match now that goblin right here boom then valkyrie this then do a goblin battle maybe i need to go all in this is basically one thing all in or lose now inferno tower right here Oh my god guys, this is so scary man. Now, we can go scale out an army to destroy this. Then I can do a freaking snowball for the balloon. If the balloon connect to the inferno tower, I'm dead. Now, for about this, boom! Double knockback action. Now, balloon on the connect. Okay, good. Now, I can do the action action. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, the action action so that still get some good damage or else I'll be dead. Now, snowball this. Boom. Okay guys, I'm dead. There's no way I defend this. No way. How? He's free to attack my tower. There's no way. But it's fine though. Because we still get 8 wins and 1 loss with this deck. So anyways guys, thanks for watching. Remember to hit the like and subscribe button. Anyways, bye.